important. But let me offer you my definition of social justice. I keep what I earn and you keep what you earn. Do you disagree? Well, then tell me how much of what I earn belongs to you and why. The gentleman rationality rules goes on to say a great deal of our current situation in life is the result of a accident or things we ourselves did not do. Absolutely correct. This is a cognitive bias where people say the good in my life is from me and from how hard I work and the bad is from evil forces outside of my control and just bad luck that I have. Now, just because accidents get people to where they are does not justify the state initiating violence to forcibly redistribute wealth. So, this is not a valid critique of libertarianism. This is just a uh, philosophical way of viewing people's current standings. Also, do cops in Congress count? In other words, you officer don't have the right to arrest me. You just happen to be a cop who just happened to be hired by some lieutenant who happened to get hired himself. You, Mr. Congressman, don't have the right to pass laws. You just happen to be elected by a county where you happen to run against someone who was worse than you. So uh, it's important to hold government to these same uh, principles. Joseph Sobrin said, politicians never accuse you of greed for wanting other people's money, only for wanting to keep your own. Uh, John Rawls is then quoted in the video saying, a just society is a society that if you knew everything about it, you'd be willing to enter it in a random place. Take, I will uh, be happy to take that. I would want to enter a society that had a great deal of wealth and where the uh, non-aggression principle was held paramount. So I knew I wouldn't... Uh, so I had, you know, some legitimate feeling that no one would initiate violence against me for being peaceful. I could pursue my interests. And let's say I was born, you know, a quadriplegic. Well, I'd want a nice libertarian society where there weren't uh, regulations stopping people from innovating and creating wealth. See, when people are free, they make more voluntary transactions that are mutually beneficial, which creates more wealth. So I'd want a morally wealthy society, the libertarian society. Again, I don't know what this has to do with initiating violence against peaceful people. But also, why, why government? Why does government get a monopoly on redistributing these things in order to create a just society where people would want to enter at a random place? Again, this does not justify violence. Also, bad luck doesn't justify violence. Good luck doesn't justify violence. So when rationality rules says some of my labor should go to the less fortunate and so should Walters. I totally agree. So I give to charity. Maybe you should take after America and uh, donate a little more to charity. This doesn't justify initiating violence against peaceful people. Again, if it were so justified to do, anyone at any time could initiate aggression because, hey, you didn't earn it. You just happened to have it. Uh, so any group at any time or people on an individual level could just take anything they wanted because whoever they're taking it from did not earn it. Yet, it's only okay for government to do this. Now, are you self-made? He goes on to discuss something that, uh, re referencing Sam Harris. Now, none of us are really self-made, even if you look at something like solitaire. Solitaire is the ultimate doing something by yourself. Well, you didn't do it by yourself. Someone else invented the card. Someone else invented the game. Someone else invented the computer you're playing it on. Someone else invented the electricity you're using. You're only alive because someone else invented food. You're in a house someone else built. That, so these are all, th this is really a non sequitur. See, they take something obviously true. No one does anything by themselves and then say, therefore, violence is justified. That, that's the ultimate non sequitur. Just because I'm not self-made, what you could do instead of initiating violence is use money to compensate people for their time, efforts, ideas, and energy in a market economy. Or you could have a gift economy where people just give things away for free and work for free. I don't know. Just don't initiate violence against peaceful people. Whereas football, you can clearly see people working together. It's harder in the example of solitaire, but everything we do is interconnected and done together. We're not really self-made. This does not justify initiating violence against peaceful people. 
Also, bad luck is not a justification for initiating violence against peaceful people. He quotes Sam Harris. Many of my critics pretend they have been entirely self-made. They seem to feel responsible for their intellectual gifts, for their freedom from injury and disease, and for the fact that they were born at a specific moment in history. Many appear to have absolutely no awareness of how lucky one must be to succeed at anything in life, no matter how hard one works. One must be lucky to be able to work. One must be lucky to be intelligent, to not have cerebral palsy, or do not have been bankrupt in the Middle Ages by the mortal illness of a spouse. Many of us have been extraordinarily lucky, and we did not earn it. Many good people have been extraordinarily unlucky, and they did not deserve it. And yet I get the distinct sense that if I ask some of my readers why they weren't born with club feet or orphaned before the age of five, they would not hesitate to take credit for these accomplishments. That's an excellent passage, and it really makes you stop and uh, think how lucky you are to be born in the most charitable nation on earth, America, or a first world country. All right, that was just a shot at rationality rules. Uh, anyone who does not, uh, who is not born with these deficiencies uh, is absolutely very lucky. But this does not justify initiating violence against peaceful people. So I think he's taking something that's just true and then going to a false uh, c conclusion. I, I, I think it does that again later with the social contract. So bad luck does not justify the state having rights no other institution has, and it doesn't justify initiating violence against peaceful people. If you want to help those at the bottom, you can always uh, make sure there's charities uh, that are uh, eligible to access those in need. Make sure there's a free market so people can innovate and improve the lives of the most needy. This does not justify violence in any way, but it, that's a really important passage that, uh, it, if nothing else, was a great takeaway from this video.